I came here to learn engineering, to work on cars. And while working on the cars, I learned that my passion was motorsports and the engineering challenge behind racing is just incredibly fun to me. Growing up, I worked on cars. I had a few hobby cars. I had a 68 Camaro. I had multiple different older trucks that I worked on with my dad. Cars was always my focus. And growing up, I was always a football fan. I was always an Alabama fan. I looked at other Alabama schools, but never really considered them. It, it was not a hard decision to come here. So getting involved with Formula I started on my tour to Alabama. I actually toured with Dean Sharp in the Honors College. And he told me about the options that I had. And I knew then that I wanted to get involved. I just decided that's what I wanted to work on, racing motorsports. It was just exactly what I was looking for in my engineering degree. So I joined it in 2012 as a freshman. I became team captain my sophomore year. And Formula SA was most of my undergraduate degree. <laughs> I am diverse in my education where I've done mechanical engineering. And during that time, I realized that the computer science side is really starting to take off with vehicles. And it's really starting to become more and more prominent in everything that happens. Cars are getting smarter every day. There's more electronics in them every day. I just knew that moving forward, if I wanted to be on the development curve of automotive vehicles and motorsports, that I had to go towards computer science and that's what I decided. So for the past two years, I've been working on the Indy Autonomous Challenge. It's a competition where 10 teams come together and we're developing a autonomous driver that's built based on code and the sensors that we have to drive around racetracks nearly as fast as human drivers can. AD Link was turned on. Red and yellow are solid. During the competition, we've done a few things. We actually had a passing competition with two different cars, and we were able to pass another car going about 170 miles an hour. Representing the Polytechnic of Milan and also University of Alabama with $150,000 first prize. Congratulations to Polymove. And then fast forward a few more months, we decided to take the car to Kennedy Space Center and there we were able to break the autonomous land speed record. We were able to get to peak speed of 193.8 and average over a kilometer 192.2 miles per hour. I think pretty much every car company at this point is working on autonomous vehicles. It's definitely projected to be the way of the future. And so what we're doing is we're pushing the envelope of development of these autonomous vehicles and that will make road cars safer in the future. For the university to offer these type of programs is just amazing for students because it just helps develop them even more and more for their future jobs. And the university is really pushing this type of work and it's an amazing place to be.